career, right? So everybody been knowing what's been going on, man, with these riots and everything in Minnesota. Okay, you know, I heard a lot of people say, why are they destroying their own community? What makes, do y'all understand what really makes a community yours? I don't think a lot of you black folks don't really understand that. See, if it was y'all community, or these communities was ours, black community, they, they, they trick us with the words they use every day. Y'all better start educating yourself more. Okay, it's like this here. When this is your community, that means racist white cops just can't pull up in your community and kill your black people at will because they know it's going to be something behind it. So therefore, if you feel you, do you think you live in your community, think of fucking again. And then as far as the stores is being burned down and shit like that right there, hmm, I guarantee you 98% of them stores was not even given back to the black people or black community 98% of the time. You hear me? Or annually at that. So at the end of the day, and then they just charged dude, right? They charged him third degree murder, right? Cool, whatever. But it ain't cool because guess what? A third degree murder charge will condemn out if you get your fire ass lawyer, which you know they gonna pay for him a fire ass lawyer. It's probably dropped to a high misdemeanor, which the bitch ass dude will still be able to go get work in different states and different counties. So I'm saying right now, I hope y'all share my video. Everybody in Minnesota man burn that bitch to the motherfucking ground. Burn that bitch down. Burn that shit down. Burn that shit down. Burn that shit down. Cause they'll burn our shit down. They have. Check the records. Check them. Burn that shit down. Don't y'all be mad at them folks. Quit telling y'all and some of y'all black folks, quit telling black other black folks how to motherfucking feel. Because see, let me tell you something. There's a difference between an African American and a black motherfucker. See, I'm a black man. Some of you motherfuckers just African American. You motherfuckers need to get it together, man. Real talk. Cause when y'all you come around me with that, oh come here, I'm gonna smack the dog piss out you. And you know I ain't lying if you know me. I'm gonna smack dog dog shit out your goofy ass. Get the fuck around me. Period. Burn that shit up. That shit don't belong to you or nobody. I, I, I don't get black folks. Motherfuckers will sit there and rep their hood, they gang and everything, go die about that shit. But you ain't willing to die about what the fuck has got to be making this shit really rock. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck around with this motherfucking bullshit out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Burn that shit down, man. Burn that shit down. Please, burn that shit down. Because guess what? We ain't have a black man being humble. Or giving um, a um, um, humble response to the shit that had been inflicted on us ever got us anywhere. It ain't got us no motherfucking where. Nowhere. When has being humble as a black man got us anywhere? I will wait for that answer. Nowhere. It's like, you know, we have to fight for everything, right? They tell us we got to fight. Why the fuck should we have to fight for something that's supposed to be given to us from the jump? And why should anything have to be something given to us when it was destined to us? See, it's a difference, man. You motherfuckers better wake the fuck up, man. Why you fighting for something that's supposed to be yours from the jump? It's supposed to be yours from the jump. Why we got to fight for it? Why we got to beg these motherfuckers to look at us as equals? It shouldn't be like that. I ain't saying all of them looking like that. Because like I say, I fuck with a, with a handful of them. Real talk. And I know they're going to they gonna rock and roll like Bon Jovi with me. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, for those I don't fuck with, you know why I don't fuck with you. You better stay the fuck with around me before I fuck you up. But at the end of the motherfucking day, man, for all you black folks out here talking about, they mess up the community. That ain't they motherfucking community. They don't own shit around that motherfucker. They paying rent. <laughs> they don't own them blocks. They don't own the acres that them buildings built on. None of that shit. That is not their community. You don't have a community until you build it your fucking self. Lazy motherfuckers. I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm pissed off. I'm really, really, really bothered by that shit i ain't gonna lie to you i didn't want i didn't want to drive to minnesota just so i can go burn some shit up facts because you know a lot of us you know i you know i understand a lot of you brothers i know a lot of you brothers was just born to be justice you know but a lot of me and my brothers was born to be fucking kings and kings we are conquerors we're warriors we leave our homes to go conquer others you motherfuckers better get y'all shit right, man, and recognize the difference, man, between what the fuck is real and what the fuck is fake. That ain't them folks' community, so y'all quit saying that dumb ass shit. It ain't a community until you build it yourself. Until you build it yourself, it's not your community. Get that through your head. Oh, oh, because your grandma stayed there for 20 years? I bet your grandma ain't got a street with a name on it. What, because you went to school there? Oh, I bet you ain't in school with your name on it. That ain't your shit. 
That's they shit. So burn they shit down. Period. Fuck wrong with y'all, man. I'm tired of you weak ass African Americans, man. There's a difference between a, being a black man or a black woman and an African American man or an African American woman. You niggas better get y'all motherfucking mind right. Straight up. Get y'all motherfucking shit wrong. Right. Stupid fuck. Swear to God, man. I can't stand some of y'all sometimes, man. And y'all wondering why y'all wondering why shit's still the same way. You know why? Cause you bitches don't wanna fight. You bitches won't fight. But I guarantee you a motherfucker pull up on your block throwing up the wrong sign or goddamn me saying the wrong thing to you, you gonna up that banger quick. Y'all better shut the fuck up, man. I can't stand you watered down cannon motherfucking motherfuckers, boy. Swear to God, smack the dog piss out one of you motherfucking. And hey, motherfucker on my page don't like what I'm saying. Y'all know the, y'all know what to do. Holler at me. You know, I don't, you know, I make field trips and everything like we in school still. Now play with me. Fuck wrong with you motherfucking cowards. But everybody pro black. And I'm gonna be real too. I'm gonna say this right here too. I'm with buying black, right? I'm with buying black. I'm with buying black, spending my money in black stores, black sh- whatever. But guess what? It's so many of you double agent ass motherfuckers out here. Double agents. I'm going to call you double agents because that's what the fuck you is. Because you play both sides of the line. You double agent motherfuckers. So why the fuck I'm going to go spend my motherfucking money with you so you can sit there and buy a chair at the table with the same motherfuckers that have been beating us, robbing us, and stealing and killing us for all forever? Why am I going to spend my money with y'all? Well, I'm gonna promote my other people to spend their money with y'all. And to you, mother, now listen and see, and this is a challenge for you black owned businesses. All you motherfuckers who got them, all you people say buy black. That means you, all you people with black owned businesses, that means that y'all should put together a fund. That means giving back to whatever neighborhood community that you are in annually, not monthly, not, you know, annually, meaning that it's gonna always come in because we are making your money, because we are buying your black products. Don't use us. That's all I'm asking you. Don't fucking use us. Like they didn't use this for many centuries and generations. Don't fucking use us. Because the price you're going to pay after we find out you've been trying to use us to come up. Shit, don't worry about it. We got a spot for you too. Motherfuckers. Can't stand you cowards. Motherfuckers try to say you cheer crazy. Now you cheers got too much goddamn sense. And I be around a lot of fucking dummies all the damn time. Fucking stupid bitches. Swear to God, I hate this shit. Straight up. And I love some of my white brothers and sisters because I know they rock with me and they fuck with me. But for the most part, a lot of you niggas watered down out here. You're passive aggressive. You got jelly in your fucking spines. Straight up. Your daddy should have shot you on the sheets and your mama should have swallowed your punk asses. Y'all can't tell these motherfucking people how to motherfucking feel. Because, see, you know, that's the problem with black folks, too. Break this down. Y'all ain't got a problem with something unless it comes directly to your doorstep. But it could be happening to with somebody with the same color. As you. And you'll look for ways to de- to define it or to undermine it to make it okay so you ain't feeling like, so you don't feel a sense of responsibility. Because see, that's what y'all don't understand. We're responsible for each other in a sense. Straight up. Because guess what? And the reason I say that, because guess what? I'm, I'm miles away from people I grew up with. But guess what? Because I grew up with the black brothers and sisters I did. If I do something stupid, that reflects on my black brothers and sisters where I'm from. Or where I'm at. So we, we're already being held accountable for previous actions by black people. So why ain't we holding these motherfuckers for their actions against black people? Are y'all stupid? Are you dumb? Fuck wrong with y'all. Man, keep that African-American shit. See, that's African-American shit. It's a difference. That ain't black shit. That's African-American shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Some of you motherfuckers, I, mean, I don't want you on the battlefield with me anyhow. Because I might got, because Massa might run up and you might shoot me in my goddamn back of my head. Because you bitches double agents. So I don't want you on the battlefield with me anyhow. And y'all quit, quit telling them motherfucking people how to feel. Matter of fact, fuck that. Pull up down there and, and tell them to their face how you feel. And see, how, we see what type of response you get. I hope they dog your bitch ass out. Fuck you motherfuckers. I'm thinking up this live. I'm too, I'm, 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 I'm too lit, y'all. I'm going to calm my nerves. I'll be back later.